Hello. So we are back Wednesday. Yeah. And before this, before this, I just want to review a flux. Yeah. Just quickly. Because, you know, sometimes I'm buying things from eBay just to test them to see maybe we can find something better like flux. So, yeah, I bought this flux from eBay. It's not from my account. RF800 uh, was like £3.60. But, you know, I said, let's try it. Let's see. So, let's see about this flux because I'm. I don't think this is real. Probably this is a fake flux or uh, it's a scam, but I don't know. I can't say. So let's take like a chip, like anything. Let's let's do a test. Let's solder something, yeah. Let me start the microscope. So let's review that for this flux. <laughs> So first, from the beginning, is like with a brush. It comes with a brush and a strong smell of alcohol. Yeah? Let's see if the microscope is working. Yes. So let's use the flux to do like a solder job here. Hmm? So let's show in a chip. Let's show in a chip. Yeah? What do you think? Let's be sure it's on focus. Okay, it is on focus. So now we'll use the flux with a brush, yeah. So I suppose it should be used like that, yeah. So we have a lot of flux there. Let's try and uh, do a soldering job. Where is my flux? I haven't started yet. <laughs> so, you, you know what I mean? You see, that's a scam. And you think it's flux, but this is pure alcohol. And obviously, get evaporated. This is, there is no flux. Again. It's getting evaporated. And there's nothing left. Is nothing left. Like like my flux. My flux is to alcohol, rosin and alcohol. When you use the flux, yeah, the alcohol gets evaporated, but the flux is there, you know. But what about this? It's it's not there anymore. It was the point. I don't understand the the, the, the way how the flux is working. Uh, the flux is getting being corrosive when it's hot. Yeah, when it's cold. When it's cold, it's like like this or. On different things, different are many, many different fluxes, but this is no flux, this is pure alcohol. They are selling pure alcohol, so I suppose it's a scam, or I don't know. But if you use this flux before, just leave me a comment and tell me if I'm wrong or it's a fake one. Yeah, so let's start with our job. We have a gaming laptop to fix. This is a nice Acer Predator, yeah? The problem with this one is not turning on. Okay, so it's dead. <clears throat> okay, this is quite an expensive laptop. Let me find a... Okay. Let's see. First, let's check the charger. We have the charger. We have the original charger, actually. If I can find it. But... What is here? Yeah, we have the original charger. Probably this is a European laptop because it comes with a um, European plug. I will change the plug.
Let's check the charger first. Let's see. Volts, volts, okay. And the charger has... What? No, the charger is good, 19.6. You can see on the multimeter. So the charger is fine. It's a very big charger, probably around 6 amps. So, yeah. Let's start and open the laptop. Let's see how different are these gaming laptops. I need a I need a proper screwdriver. Good. The gaming laptops are a little bit different, but not too much. Not too much. Just, uh, you know, it's a little bit everything, it's a little bit bigger. The power supplies, power rails, you'll find a lot of dual MOSFETs. Man, I, I, I don't have a screwdriver, that's crazy. Let me find one. Let me find one. Okay, okay. So same like you, I'm curious to see how this is inside, because I never fixed this model. This is Acer uh, Predator, uh, I think Helio 300. I've, I've seen on the case, where is the keyboard? So I'm excited to see what's inside, how it's built. Okay, it's no hard drive. So I suppose the hard drive is... Uh, it's only solid stay here. I checked on eBay, the laptop is around 1000. But probably comes on different uh, specification, a like different uh, processor, graphics. So can can be less or more. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of customer kids running, screaming. That's when the shop is on the shopping center. So we are ready to open this. So you can see inside one fan, two fan. So are two fans here, yeah? What is here? Let's see what is here. Uh, here is only the RAM memory. Good. I just ask myself if fire screws behind of this uh, rubber thing. Or maybe not. The keyboard is not coming out, it's not supposed to come out from here. Predator Helios 300, yeah? That's the model. Yeah, plastic clips. Yeah. 
so yes I think the back cover is coming out the back cover is coming out wow quite easy to be wow I, I didn't expect this this is just a small motherboard just a small motherboard now when I see the laptop first time I say wow this is you know this is a proper one hmm. comparing with the Alienware this is no you can't compare hmm. okay let's plug the charger have the charging port here charging cable here so we'll check the voltage there I see minus plus and we have 19 you can see no you can't see because it's the other multimeter sorry minus plus and it's 19.6 okay I'll jump to check our main power rail yeah I have a bias chip you can check the 3.3 there the 19 we can check the 19 where you can check the 19 probably here on these capacitors let's check no 19 3.3 by shipping number 8 nothing maybe it's the memory from the chipset maybe and the bias is inside most likely another capacitor is here and we still have nothing this laptop was booked in after I left like what time like 40 past 5 so I left like uh, 30 past 5 so I found it today in the morning here and now it is the morning around 10 o'clock so it's quite a new job and uh, the owner said it's it's urgent okay that's good because it's dead and the power rail is missing that make the job more probable to be fixed just think if it's a super IO like that super IO be more hard because probably it's one which is programmed already that's always I'm scared about the super IO because the super IO is always under the voltage so it's always on 3.3 volts and uh, yeah can die we have two switches here one switch here and one switch here you can see the other one here it's another switch I can't see nothing. This is just like a normal laptop motherboard. It's nothing special. I can't see the pad. First MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor. So possible to be on the other side. Battery. Probably has, this is the charging uh, coil from the battery. And it's zero. So let's try to push the things further. Yeah. Let's 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 get this job done on another way if we can. If we can. If we can. So diode mode. Let's switch on diode mode. Let's take out the battery. Plus of the battery, we have some uh, MOSFETs capacitor. I just want to check this capacitor to be sure my uh, my main power rail is not shorted. It's not shorted. Yeah, 
Here you have like 0 0.0 ohm, 0 0.01, okay. Here you have 0 0.001 on this capacitor. It is fine. Here you have another two, this is a classic power supply, two MOSFETs, coil and capacitor. And it is shorted, 0 0.001, yeah, you can see there. Here we have another power supply, we have a big capacitor. And it's 0 0.01, okay. So we have few capacitors with 0 ohms. And uh, that make me jump to the conclusion it's a shorted power rail yeah i said i'm trying to do this job on a different way just because i'm too lazy to take the motherboard out yeah <laughs> but you can do it on a normal way just checking from the input to the your main uh, power line yeah so what what we will do in this case in this case we'll try to figure it out Yes, it is shorted. Short here. Short here. Yeah. So what I'll try to do, I'll try to come with low voltage because because can be the MacBook style, you know. Like you have a you have a special power supply for your main power rail. Yeah, like on the MacBooks, like 8.5 volts, 8.2, something like that. Can be the same like here. Can be here, the same. And if you have a line with uh, 8.5 volts, which is meant to be 8.5, and you come with 19, you know, possible some bad things can happen. So let's see. 2.4... Uh, Two point four amps, that's the limit. We can go low. Because the short has high resistance, the short you see like one point one volts. It's very easy to work. Yeah? It's very easy to work like how, how I work with the power supply. When you know the current, yeah. You know the voltage because you read the voltage there, yeah? Like now. Uh I know the current is limit is 2 amps. I know the voltage is 1 volt. And applying the ohm law, uh, you take out the resistance. Yeah? And actually, you don't even have to take out the resistance. Just following the voltage. You see if the voltage goes down or up. And you know your resistance goes up or down or up. Yeah? So this short will be easy to be found. Because it's a high short. It's a high resistance. Probably it's a shorted cap, that's what I expect. Or a shorted MOSFET, why not? You see, and that's the point when uh, a nice thermal camera will help you. Obviously, we don't have something like that. Because we are, you know, we like the challenges. And our skin is, you know, it's getting trained. Yeah, the capacitor are dying everywhere, you know. It's like when remember every time I told this the most common fault. Okay, let's go high. Let's go three amps, yeah. Three amps. Nothing, everything is fine. Here is warm.
this side of the finger is very sensible but if you get burn here it is it's more worse compared with the, the finger now it's here somewhere because I can feel it's warm but I don't think it's on this side so I believe we have to take the board out with the lip again it's very sensible on the heat the top lip maybe here let me check No, it's not here. I think it's on the other side of the board, so we have to take the board out anyway. Just because I'm lazy, I said, you know what, <laughs> let's start the dish job on different way. Not lazy, but just to short the time. Because obviously these kind of videos just just get too long. And if you edit the video, it doesn't seem real, you know? We have some ribbon cables, connectors. But it looks like on this day, you know, any device, it's, it's, it's dying because of the capacitors. The Macs, the phones, the laptop, normal laptops, like gaming laptops. But not desktops. Desktops doesn't care. They have big capacitors. Okay. Wow, this is here is more nice. It's a lot more nicer. So you can see here first MOSFET, second of first MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor nice hmm. and we have uh, you know, we have here uh, it's not even, look, this big one, you see this big power, eh? look this one, this is not ground, you'll think it's ground, it's not, it's plus Yeah, so this one is plus, plus 19 should be there, so let's see, yeah, still shorted, here I said, yeah, here I said it's coming hot on the top, It's, it's so pointless and you just hope oh, maybe it's a MOSFET maybe this video will be different it's not well, let's see what do we have there so now I will connect to the power supply Check that mode, check that, check that cap. Huh? What do you think about that cap?
we will remove that cap maybe with hot air just this time Who knows, maybe one day we'll replace the cap. Yeah, that's the one. That's shorted. That cap is shorted. Do we have short anymore? Let's see. No, it's not short. You see, that's what I, t what I told you. Actually, the, 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 these kind of faults are quite stupid. Like, you know, you have like a top electronics here, you know, like the processor, chipset, everything. And, uh, you know, it's just a common capacitor is dying. multi-layer capacitor yeah it's 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 quite hard if you think from the manufacturer point of view it's quite hard to make high capacity capacitor on a small size yeah going smaller the voltage is going down So, from the manufacturer point, you know, you kind of understand uh, it's hard to make uh, small capacitor and good at the same time. You have to make it bigger. If you make the capacitor bigger, it will be fine. The short circuit voltage will be higher. And probably they will not die. But everything goes smaller on these days, so... I suppose this is impossible for a manufacturer to make like bigger caps. Wi Fi is blocked. Uh, what? Yeah, I don't know, draw on the phone, draw. Uh, one is working, one uh, in its screen. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's plug the charger and check. No, I don't. No. Uh, the battery. Let's plug the battery. So now we can check with the multimeter eh? before uh, we are testing the laptop. Yeah. Let's take the multimeter. So let's check what we check first time. Like here. Ah, oh, sorry. Let's go on volts. Volts. 19.6, you can see there. 19.6. Like here. 19.6. Okay, this is not the BIOS chip then. Well, it looks like we have the 19 volts power rail, so we can test the laptop. Where is the power button? It's here on the keyboard. The fans are spinning. Yeah, the fans are spinning. 
No picture on the screen? Really? That's interesting. So we have no picture on the screen. From some reason, I did press the reset button from the board. Okay, let's do more research about this. Oh yeah, it is working. No bootable device. How is possible? Because you have the hard drive there. How no bootable device? You have a M2 solid state hard drive. The laptop is lying. But same like the one from yesterday, you remember we saying no hard drive with a hard drive inside. I think the customer installed the Windows on uh, legacy mode. And obviously, when you reset the BIOS, it's UFI. So let's see together. Off. Can be F2, the BIOS. Can be. F2 i7 7 uh, generation yeah a nice processor nice okay boot mode UFI let's change on legacy and now should be fine And the Windows is loading, yeah? Okay, so everything is fine. I will stop now the all power of the computer because probably it's an uh, email address. But anyway, the fault was clear. Okay, so I'll stop this video. I'll put it all back together, no point to keep you here. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. We have the speaker, we have wireless speaker. Maybe I'll find time to make a video about that one, yeah? Bye.